Hello again. I'm Uncle Milo, and this is Uncle Milo Explains number 15, Removing Poison Ivy, the Two-Bag Method. Now, this is my backyard, and like any typical backyard, it's usually full of poison ivy. Well, I've pulled up most of the poison ivy getting ready for this video, but there's still a few patches left. Let's go and look for poison ivy. Now, you have to identify the poison ivy. I don't want to touch it, but uh, the problem with poison ivy is not everything that has three leaves is poison ivy. This, this has three leaves, but this is a vine. This is a raspberry. This, um, let's see, that has three leaves, but there are three leaves below it. Or there are two leaves below it, so that's actually probably an ash. Um, Again, you see leaves, you have to count. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, three, four, five. Virginia creeper often looks a lot like poison ivy. This, that may look like poison ivy, but that's Virginia creeper. Here's more three leaves, but again, that's a vine, and so that has got to be raspberry. Now, poison oak is very similar to poison ivy. It also has three leaves. Here's something that looks, well, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. That looks like oak. Actually, that is a little oak. It's only a year old, so um, that's not poison ivy either. Here's a vine growing up a stick. Uh, looks like, oh, one, two, three, wait a minute. What's that? Oh, five leaves. That's Virginia creeper again. Boy, it constantly fools me. I always have to count. And here's something, oh, that's got three leaves. Uh, that's another uh, raspberry vine. Okay, now I know that there's poison ivy here because I found it before. There, that's three leaves. No, that's, that's got to be strawberry. That's not uh, this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, that's, it's shiny. It's got only three leaves. And there's more near it. Up over here, there's another one. That's... That's definitely, that's definitely poison ivy. All right, I thought I'd gotten all the poison ivy out of my lawn, but um, come over here and take a look. And uh, this is definitely poison ivy. So this is what I'm gonna, one of the two patches I've gotta pull up tonight. Okay, I'm gonna look for the next. This is not poison ivy, and that's not poison ivy. Notice it's got three leaves, but there's extra leaves there. So that's not poison ivy, but that, hang on, that looks very much like, yes, okay, that doesn't have thorns on it like a raspberry vine, and it's a vine, but it's low to the ground. Uh, there's another one there. There's another one there. It's definitely probably spreading along the ground. We'll have to I'll have to see when I start pulling it up, but that's definitely another poison ivy. There may be some over here. And that's definitely poison ivy. So that's the second patch I can pull up tonight. Okay. Now, the method of getting rid of the poison ivy, people can use a spray. If you use a weed killer, it'll roll off the leaf. The leaves are kind of uh, waxy and the regular weed killer will roll off. You can use a poison ivy weed killer which has got soap on it and it sticks to the leaves, but if you overspray it will kill other plants. I prefer the method of pulling them up by the roots. So the method that I've developed, which I'm showing on this video, is using two bags at a time to remove a single poison ivy plant. Now I started with these um, available bags, you get them from the store, you come home from the store, you unpack your groceries, and um, you want to use these for um, removing because they're free. You, otherwise, you'll have to throw them out or recycle them. So um, I check them very carefully. If they have a hole in them, um, I can't use them. This one's, that one's got a hole. This one here is, my goodness, this one's really bad. So I can't use this one. I'll check this one, and um, that looks okay. And don't want to throw that one out, sorry. And this one here, that looks okay too. Um, however, some counties, some municipalities are now banning uh, sh plastic shopping bags. So if you're going to purchase shopping bags, I use the four gallon shopping bags. This is from Stop and Shop. This is from the dollar store. 
It has to be four gallon shopping bags because it gives you about the right size. And the reason that I'm going to do that is because I want to put the poison ivy into the bag and throw it out. So what I'll do is, on each hand, I'll reverse the bag and make them kind of into gloves, but really, really long gloves that go way, way up on my arms. And by using two of them, again, I go in through the bottom, reverse it, and now I'm going to go off and I'm going to take the poison ivy out and uh, put it into these bags and you'll see how it works. All right, here I am by the poison ivy. It's right there. I don't want to touch it with my fingers, but there it is. And um, I'm going to take the bags, like I showed you just a moment ago. I take these and invert them, become, make them like gloves. This part's got to be done very carefully. I have to make sure I keep them over my arms, no matter what happens. Now, I just reach down. I'm trying to find the where they go underneath, where there are stems and where there are leaders and where there are vines. But I'm trying to pull them out by the roots. There, that wasn't a very big one. Uh, bigger ones, you have to be careful. You don't get them all over your arms. So what I do is I use them together and put them into the bag, then turn the bag inside out. And here's why I use two. I take the other bag, I wrap it up, put it together, and then tie it off. And now I'll throw this away in the regular trash. On to the next one. By the second batch of poison ivy, which is right here, and I'm going to be using a four gallon bags, two of them. Open them up, and uh, then I'm going to invert them just like I did before. Very important that I keep them away from my arms. What I'm going to do, no matter what, is I'm going to Go back inside when I'm done and wash my arms up to the elbows just to make sure that any poison ivy ruchiol, which is the active ingredient that gives you the uh, allergic reaction, to make sure any of it that might be on me accidentally was washed off and that would keep me perfectly safe. As you can see, I'm using um, bare arms because I'm, I'm brave. I know it's not going to hurt me as long as I remember to wash off. Now I reach down to the leaf and here I know it's the vine. That looks like about it. So, once again, I'm going to put it into the bag. First, the first bag, and then turn the first bag inside out. Then the second bag, and do it like this. Now, if you have a lot of poison ivy, it becomes more difficult. This a little bit of poison ivy makes it look easy. It's a lot harder if you have a lot of leaves, but the concept is the same, as long as you make sure that you don't expose your arms. And then this one is done as well. So that's it for the two patches I had to do tonight. One. All right, now that's my method of removing poison ivy without having to worry about getting rashes on your arms or skin. Um, I really, really need to be able to do that every year because I'm always constantly cleaning poison ivy out from my property. And uh, I wanted to share it with you before all the poison ivy was gone. I'm just completely out of poison ivy. I won't be able to reshoot this video on my property. Anyways, so this is Uncle Milo Explains number 15, removing poison ivy, the two-bag method. Thank you for watching, and tune in again.